Bill. It's been a long time since I've made a video. This is Bill from Bushcraft Knife Reviews. And today we will be reviewing the much anticipated, well it used to be the Rat 5, now it's the e, ESE 5 by Randall Adventure Training. Uh, I got this knife in January, I think. And I've been using it a little bit here and there. It's been difficult. I moved to Madrid and uh, it took me this long basically to find a place that would be able to do this kind of stuff without getting any problems. Uh, but here we are at a kind of a, an off the beaten trail park actually in Madrid if you believe it or not. Um, the Rat 5 or the ESE 5 is about 11 inches overall. The blade is five and a quarter. It's a quarter inch thick at its thickest part. So it's definitely the thickest knife I've ever owned. Um, the sheath is Kydex sheath. It has a belt clip, but I don't have the belt clip on it. Uh, 1095 carbon, hardened to around 57 or thereabouts. Um, one interesting thing, which I've been using a lot, as you can see, is it has a bow, a bow divot there, a bow drill divot, so that you can uh, use this right for a bow drill and and hold it like so and use your bow drill and use this kind of as the uh, as the divot or as the spindle whatever you want to call it the socket um, first impressions it's got a thick handle <laughs> I have I have average size hands and this handle is borderline too big for me um, took some getting used to especially when you've been using things like a clipper or something similar to that um, it is definitely large. It's maybe a little bit too large for my taste in terms of general camp stuff, general bushcraft things. But it is the type of knife where if you're only going to bring one knife and you have no choice, then it's worth bringing because you know that it can take a lot and it can dish out a lot. Uh, but for just in terms of comfort and working on a lot of finer tasks, you wouldn't want something this big. Uh, some people might disagree with me. But if I'm going to spend five hours carving, I don't want to do it with the ESE 5. I want to do it with something a lot smaller. That said, it performs really well, and uh, and I haven't been disappointed with it at all. So let's put it to some tasks and uh, see what we can do. Let's try some batoning. Obviously this uh, knife is big enough that it's not going to have a problem with any of the smaller things. Or if things a little bit bigger, that's about as thick as my wrist. No problems there either. One thing about this uh, knife is it has a little point here on the back where you can choke up and kind of use it more for some basic chopping. Though truth be told, I don't think it quite it chops quite as well as I had hoped it would. Um, I'm gonna have a hard time finding bigger wood than this to practice uh, batoning on because in Spain you can't you can't cut any wood, and since we're not exactly in a forest, it's hard to find anything else. But as you can see, it's not gonna have a problem batoning. It's not gonna have a problem batoning at all. Depending on where you live, one thing that may be of importance to you is whether you're going to be able to make a fuzz stick with this. Well, let's see here. Now, the hard thing about making a fuzz stick with a knife this large is it feels a little unwieldy. So, I've been kind of experimenting here and probably breaking all the rules in terms of how you're supposed to do this. But there's certain methods which I feel work better with a knife this large. Now, this will, if you can maintain control, this will make curls. I actually find that because the knife is so large, 
it's easier to do this with two hands. It gives me more control over the, the depth of the cut without worrying about going too deep or getting stuck or whatever it may be. But then again, for those of you with maybe a little bit larger hands, you might not have a problem at all. This is Willow, by the way, I think. And for a knife that large, that's curling just fine. Now my most recent video, which you may or may not have seen, is uh, doing some bow drill practice. And that bow drill and the uh, hearth and all the things that we did there in that video, which you can check out on my channel, was all done entirely with this knife. Now I don't know if I'm going to be able to find a piece of wood today that will function as a bow, but we're going to give it a shot. Okay, found a piece of willow to use as a bow, and we'll, we'll try our drill. I'm not too convinced at this point in time. All this was done with the ESE 5. I have a piece of poplar here that I can use for my hearth board. What we'll do is we'll start this here. See if we can get some smoke. Now what I'm doing here, which is one of the things that makes this knife unique, put the sheath on here because you know safety first, is I'm using the knife handle for my, for my socket, which is a nice feature because I always have a hard time making this socket. That's what we call a failure. Well, I'm not getting any smoke, but uh, one thing you should know about bow drills is the combination of wood is very important. But as you can see, the principle is there, <laughs> and the ESE had no problem making the various materials. So, general thoughts on the RAT5, or on the ESE5, I'd recommend it. One of the main reasons I'd recommend it is because they have a great warranty. Uh, they have a no questions asked warranty, lifetime warranty, uh, which just beats the snot out of other warranties out there. Um, the one thing I would say is that if I was going to take one knife into the woods in terms of camping or doing bushcrafty type stuff for a week, I would definitely take, uh, for example, the Enzo Trapper or something like that, a uh, Scandinavian grind, or, or even some convex blades, I would take them. Now the main reason being is that this, for me this is just too large to do some basic camp chores. Um, that said, if you're into survival versus doing kind of camp bushcraft type stuff, this is a great job and that's what this is made for. It does a great job rather, that's what this is made for. It's made for you know Air Force survival type stuff. And for those sorts of things, it does a fantastic job. So overall, great knife. A little pricey for what you get, but I think, uh, well, let me rephrase that. It's a little pricey for bushcraft. It's not pricey if you have something else in mind. But there you go, the ESE 5. Hope you enjoyed the review. Feel free to give pointers on my, uh, my bow drill inexperience. Well, I just was on my way home and I saw some downed maple that uh, was recently green it looks like and so I just uh, took a branch and cut it with my uh, Swiss Army knife actually and then made these spoon blanks or the uh, yeah well the blanks uh, with the ESE 5